Hello everyone, welcome back to a new video. My name is Adil Samin, I'm the CEO and the founder of Fortune Group and we are based in Istanbul, Turkey. This video is for all those investors, for all those families who are planning either we should come to Turkey or they are confused we should go to Portugal, we should go to Malta, we should go to Spain or we should go to some other country. So let's discuss about the sort analysis of Turkey, then you should have the idea that whether you should come here or you should take some other opportunity. Okay, so it's about strength, weaknesses, opportunities and threats. First, we'll be discussing about the strengths of Turkey. The first one, of course, is the geographical location. If we talk about our demography, I believe we are in one of the pioneer, one of the first amazing places, which is the hub for the logistics, which is the center of the world. So I believe it is on the amazing places. Now let's talk about the GDP. At the moment, the GDP of Turkey is $850 billion. And I believe, as I've said in few other videos, by the next year, we'll be the one who will be in the trillion dollar economies. Wow, it's huge economy in top 10 economies. The third one is exports. All those people who are asking me from last one, one and a half year that sir, Lira has depreciated. What happened to that? So I was saying that, okay, our export, our economy is expanding. So you can see from this exports, 17 and a half billion exports, you know, it's huge. And what about self-sustainability? Self-sustainability means that Turkey have the capability to grow everything inside. We don't have to import things from outside to survive like in the days of Corona. So now let's talk about the weakness. Yes, every country, all the places, all the people like us, we have the weaknesses. So it's still a country. We have the imports. It's still it's high, I believe is almost double of imports. 28 billion dollars now political situation uh -huh. this can be one of the debatable topics and we can make a video about this like the political situation is not i'll say stain, uh, sustainable here or it's not stable here just because next year we are expecting the elections here so let's see what happens so we have to wait and watch that what will happen and inflation is just because of the same thing and it also refers to the treaty of lausanne I will make a video and I will tell you why it is affected because of this. The next one is with the neighbors. At one side we have Azerbaijan and uh, Georgia. On one side we have uh, Greece. Okay, one side we have a good relation but on this side of the European side we are not in good relations with them from last 100 years. So this is something we have to watch out. And I believe all the countries, they have something like this. Like if we talk about Pakistan and India, we are not in the good relation with each other also. It's opportunity. If we talk about the opportunities, our location is also opportunity. Our GDP is also an opportunity. It's one of our opportunities, I'll say. But the population is also an opportunity. Like the population of Turkey is 90 million. Yes, it's not as high as Pakistan, 250. Is not as high as China or India, but still, if we compare the population of Turkey with the European country, is still really good, you know. Next is Treaty of Lausanne. We all were talking about, we all are talking about Treaty of Lausanne that it will over by the next year, 2023. And after that, Turkey will be allowed to do its mining. Turkey will be allowed to do its all these all things for the oil and gas thing so it can be a really good opportunity for the turkey for all those investors who wanted to come here touristic that's an amazing thing you know turkey has been ranked among top four countries in this year to visit 2020 2019 was the best year in which 30 million tourists visited turkey they bring revenue around 25 to 30 billion dollars so i believe this can be an opportunity for all those people who all those uh, companies for all those touristic companies who wanted to come here and invest and uh, manage all these things now the world biggest airport okay the population of pakistan is around at the moment 230 to 250 million the capacity of turkish international airport is at the moment 220 million that means in one entire year we can manage the entire population of Pakistan. Now, let's talk about the threats. Being as a part of NATO, it can be an opportunity, but it is a threat for us because NATO forces us to do things, you know. Uh, I talk about this a lot. People hate me for this. 
for illegal immigrants as because it the both things the these both points are somehow related to each other just because turkey is the gateway to europe so illegal people or illegal immigrants use this path to go to europe around we have 3 to 4 illegal immigrants from syria or we can say war immigrants from syria which can be a i say a issue in turkey and this is the reason our political situation get affected sometimes this is the reason the the environment get depressing sometimes there are fights between the people in the different nationalities this is one of the reasons the last one is centric location what does this mean like we are in the most important location you know we have to understand this thing we are in the most important location on our upside we have uh, ukraine on one side we have russia this side we have germany one side we have bulgaria and we have azerbaijan and all these countries so we have to understand that the importance of this location is really important and you cannot make your all the neighbors happy anything can happens any time and anything happens in all these countries can affect the economy of turkey can affect turkey so this is the reason it is a blessing and a disguise so i believe this was it for the video if you still have any kind of concern if you still have any kind of more comments you can comment us down you can ask us and we'll try to get back to you as soon as possible and see you all in the next video thank you